to uh, hear a little about a method to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrices. So, we will discuss about this method to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrices. Recall that if Recall that if lambda is an eigenvalue of a matrix A of size n by n, then there exists a vector x in the field in this vector space f n such that A x is equal to lambda x here x is not the 0 vector or we can write this as a minus lambda times i x is equal to 0 where i is at the n by n identity matrix. So, we have the following observations that first observation is like this. If there is a non-zero solution of if there exists a non-zero vector x such that a minus lambda i x is equal to 0, then rank of this a minus lambda i is less than n that this number of variables. So, in other words that is a minus lambda i is not invertible and that is same as which is same as determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. So, from this equation we find all eigenvalues of the matrix A. So, this equation here this the equation A minus lambda i is equal to 0. So, the determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 is called the characteristic equation, characteristic equation of a and this is this determinant of a minus lambda i is is a polynomial polynomial in lambda of degree n this is a degree n polynomial so this equation is therefore, this determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 has at most n distinct 
solutions or roots and distinct roots or with counting multiplicity this has n has n number of roots with counting multiplicity with counting multiplicity and the roots of this equation the roots of this equation are the eigen values eigen values of a so given any matrix a therefore we form the matrix a minus lambda i first and then take its determinant and equate to 0 and get all roots of this equation. The roots of this equation are exactly the eigen values of the matrix A. Eigen values are also called characteristic roots sometime because of this second. So, eigen values of A are sometime called characteristic equations sorry characteristic roots eigen values of a are sometime called characteristic roots then next we will see how to find eigen vectors corresponding to an eigen value of the matrix A. If lambda 0 is an eigen value of A, then all non zero solutions, all non zero solutions of the system a minus a minus lambda 0 i x is equal to 0 are the eigen vectors corresponding to are the eigen vectors corresponding to the eigen value lambda 0. So, next let us see one example where we find eigen values and eigen vectors of matrices. So, find all eigen values and eigen and corresponding eigen vectors of the matrix A that is given by 5 4 2 4 5 2 2 2 2. So, we solve like this solution. First, we find characteristic polynomial of A, the characteristic polynomial of A is determinant of A minus lambda i. Here we consider i be 3 by 3 identity matrix. So, the given matrix this A minus lambda i is therefore 
5 minus lambda 4 2 4 5 minus lambda 2 2 2 2 minus lambda and we have to find out its determinant determinant of this matrix and that is one gets like this after computation one can find the determinant will like this minus lambda minus 10 into lambda minus 1 whole square. So, the roots of this equation determinant of a minus lambda i are this lambda 1 is 10 and lambda 2. So, now uh, the eigen values are lambda 1 equal to 10, lambda 2 is equal to 1 with multiplicity 2, where multiplicity of lambda 2 is 2. So, next we shall find out eigen vectors corresponding to these eigen values. So, eigen vectors corresponding to corresponding to lambda 1 that is equal to 10. So, we find like this here we have to solve the system we have to solve this homogeneous system a minus 10 i into this x is equal to 0 where x is this x 1, x 2, x 3. This has 3 components. This is a vector in R 3 we can take. So, that is the system is like this a minus 10 i is like this minus 5, 4, 2, 4 minus 5, 2, 2, 2 minus 8 and this x 1, x 2, x 3. So, this system is like this, this is equal to 0. Now, we consider echelon form of the coefficient matrix uh, to find all solutions. So, the echelon form of echelon form of the coefficient matrix matrix uh, will be like this. Here this coefficient matrix is minus 5, 4, 2, 4, minus 5, 2, 2, 2, 8. And an echelon form of this is like this minus 5, 4, 2, 0, minus 9, 18, 0, 0. So, the system of equation is now the system is 
minus 5 x 1 plus 4 x 2 plus 2 x 3 is equal to 0 minus 9 x 2 plus 18 x 3 is equal to 0. Here we consider x 3 as the free variable x 3 is the free variable that is a variable which is free to take any value in the field. So, let x 3 is equal to alpha, alpha belongs to r, then we get x 2 is equal to twice alpha and x 1 is also equal to that is x 2 and it is equal to twice alpha. So, the set of all eigenvectors corresponding to lambda 1 is equal to 10 is this set that is consist of twice alpha, twice alpha, alpha, alpha belongs to r and alpha is not equal to 0. If alpha equal to 0, then we get this vector be 0 vector and 0 vector cannot be an Eigen vector. So, this is the set of all Eigen vectors corresponding to the Eigen value lambda 1 is equal to 10. So, next we will find this Eigen vector corresponding to lambda 2 Eigen vectors corresponding to lambda 2 that is equal to 1. So, here we have to solve, we have to solve the system a minus i times x is equal to 0 or it is 4, 4, 2, 4, 4, 2, 2, 2, 1, x 1, x 2, x 3 that is equal to 0. Again we get the echelon form of the coefficient matrix be like this echelon form of the coefficient matrix is given by 4, 4, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So, this system will be this system is given by 4 x 1 plus 4 x 2 plus 2 x 3 is equal to 0 or 2 x 1 plus 2 x 2 plus x 3 is equal to 0. So, here we are having only one equation and three variables. So, two variables are free variables and x 2 and x 3 are therefore, free variables here. x 2 and x 3 are free variables. So, let us take that x 2 is equal to alpha and 
x 3 is equal to and x 3 is equal to beta, where alpha and beta they come from this set of real numbers, because we are considering a real system, system over real numbers. So, then we get x 1 be like this that is minus half into twice alpha plus beta. So, now this set of all eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda 2 is equal to 1 is given by this minus half into twice alpha plus beta alpha beta where alpha beta belongs to the set of real numbers and alpha and beta do not take the 0 value simultaneously. Alpha and beta do not take the 0 value simultaneously. Otherwise, this vector will be a 0 vector and that cannot be an Eigen vector. So, this is how we find Eigen values and Eigen vectors of matrices. So, next we shall discuss about another important concept that is diagonalization of matrices. Diagonalization of matrices. Here also we consider only square matrices that let us see first what is the meaning of diagonalization of matrices that we give in this definition. A square matrix, a square matrix a of size n is said to be diagonalizable, diagonalizable if there exist if there exist an invertible matrix invertible matrix P of size n by n such that P inverse A P is a diagonal matrix is a diagonal matrix. In other words, this A is similar to a diagonal matrix. In other words, A is similar to a diagonal matrix. So, not all matrices, not all square matrices are diagonal matrices that is not for any diagonal sorry not for any square matrix A, we get an invertible matrix P. So, that we will have this P inverse A P will be similar, uh, this will be a diagonal matrix. So, here we shall see 
uh, two more uh, definitions or terminologies for uh, discussion of this diagonalization of matrices. So, let us see that definition of multiplicity, geometric multiplicity and algebraic multiplicity of an eigenvalue. So, let lambda 0 be an eigenvalue of a matrix A of size n by n. Then the geometric multiplicity, the geometric multiplicity of lambda 0 is the dimension of is the dimension of the eigen space of lambda 0 that is the dimension of the solution space solution space of this homogeneous system A minus lambda 0 i x equal to 0. Here also we define algebraic multiplicity of lambda 0 that is the algebraic multiplicity of lambda 0 is the largest positive integer k, largest positive integer k such that lambda minus lambda 0 whole to the power k is a factor of this characteristic polynomial that a minus lambda i. Characteristic polynomial of this a minus lambda i or in other words this is the multiplicity lambda 0 is the multiplicity of I mean this algebraic multiplicity of lambda 0 is actually multiplicity of lambda 0 as a root of this characteristic equation. So, next we will just state some known results on this geometric multiplicity and algebraic multiplicities known results and also that relation among Eigen vectors corresponding to different eigen values. So, the first one is like this the algebraic multiplicity is greater than or equal to the geometric multiplicity of an eigen value that the algebraic multiplicity multiplicity of lambda 0 is not less than the geometric multiplicity of lambda 0. Then next we have another important result that we shall use is that if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are two distinct eigenvalues of A and 
x 1 and x 2 are Eigen vectors corresponding to them, corresponding to them, of course, respectively, then x 1 and x 2 are linearly independent. That is Eigen vectors corresponding to distinct Eigen values are linearly independent. One can prove this easily. So, next we shall use this, these results and uh, find this Di diagonalization of matrices. Of course, we are having an important criteria which tells about diagonalization of matrices and here is this result that tells a necessary and sufficient condition for diagonalization of matrices. So, let this A be a matrix of size n by n, uh, be a square matrix, be a square matrix with eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda k let gamma i be the geometric multiplicity of geometric multiplicity of lambda i, i from 1 to 2 k. then A is diagonalizable, diagonalizable if and only if this gamma 1 plus gamma 2 plus gamma k is equal to n, that is the size of this matrix or in other words, we can also relate this a matrix is diagonalizable if and only if this algebraic multiplicity is equal to the geometric multiplicity of every eigen value. So, here we are having a corollary that one gets if this matrix of size n by n has n distinct eigenvalues, distinct eigenvalues, then A is diagonalizable, because the geometric multiplicity of uh, an eigenvalue is at least 1. So, then next we will see a method for diagonalization of matrices or that we write as an algorithm, algorithm to diagonalize, diagonalize a matrix. So, here our input is a square matrix, a square matrix A of size n, 
Then first step is this, we find eigen values of A, find eigen values of A, say lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda k. Here k is less than or equal to n of course. Then second step is we find geometric multiplicity of multiplicity of multiplicity of is lambda i i from 1 to k let the geometric multiplicity multiplicity of lambda i b gamma i i from 1 2 to k then third step is that we check whether the sum of the geometric multiplicities that if gamma 1 plus gamma 2 up to gamma k plus gamma k is equal to n, then we continue this, then continue otherwise we return that return that A is not diagonalizable. So, in fourth step we find we know the geometric multiplicity of each eigenvalue and sum of the geometric multiplicities equal to n. Then here for each eigenvalue, we shall find a basis for the eigenspace. So, here find basis, find a basis for the eigenspace. S i corresponding to the eigen value lambda i for i 1 2 up to k. So, let the basis be let this x j lambda i such that j is equal to 1 2 2 gamma i be a basis for s i. So, dimension of S i is gamma i. So, therefore, in this set we have this gamma i number of vectors and this is a basis for this eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda i. So, here this i is therefore from 1 2 to k. For each lambda i, we consider a basis for its eigenspace S i. So, now uh, this in this step, we find that 
invertible matrix P be like this, take P be the matrix that it is consist of x 1 lambda 1 up to this x gamma 1 lambda 1 then x 1 lambda 2 x gamma 2 lambda 2 like this this x 1 lambda k up to this x gamma k lambda k that is this is a matrix of size n by n where is uh, where is x j lambda i is a column vector or a matrix of size n by 1. Therefore, P is a square matrix of size n by n. Notice that this P is invertible matrix because all these columns in P are linearly independent and hence this rank of this P is equal to n and therefore, it is invertible. So, now we get that this P inverse a p is equal to the matrix where in this diagonal first this gamma 1 in number they will be gamma 1 in number or lambda 1 then lambda 2 like this this lambda k they are gamma k in number and the rest are the zero matrices. So, this is how we find a, that diagonalization of this matrix A. Let us see this I mean uh, example to support this algorithm, let us have this example. Here we consider the same matrix of the previous example. Here consider the same matrix. same matrix of the previous example that is A is this matrix 5 4 2 4 5 2 2 2 2 And also recall that this is two eigenvalues. Recall that A has two eigenvalues. Lambda one is equal to ten and lambda two is equal to one where lambda multiplicity of multiplicity of lambda 2 is 2 
or in other words algebraic multiplicity of lambda 2 is 2. In other words algebraic algebraic multiplicity of algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1 is 1 and that of lambda 2 is 2. So, the next we shall find geometric multiplicity of lambda 1 and lambda 2. So, again recall that the eigenspace of lambda 1 is this set S 1 that is consist of twice alpha, twice alpha, alpha such that alpha belongs to R. So, here we are including the 0 vector. So, therefore, we do not have to take alpha is non 0. So, notice that dimension of that is gamma 1 is dimension of S 1 that is equal to 1. This also we get this also we get again from that rank nullity theorem. So, next we consider the eigenspace of lambda 2. So, the eigenspace of lambda 2 is the set S 2, it is consist of minus half into twice alpha plus beta alpha beta here alpha beta are real numbers here alpha beta are real numbers and the dimension of S 2 that is geometric multiplicity of lambda 2 gamma 2 is dimension of S 2 that is equal to 2. Now, this gamma 1 plus gamma 2 that is equal to 3 that is size of matrix A, size of the matrix A. So, this matrix A is diagonalizable. So, next we shall find that invertible matrix P. So, for that we have to find a basis for S 1. So, a basis for S 1 is its dimension is 1. So, we can take any non-zero vector in S 1 and that will be a basis for S 1. Then a basis for S 2 is that its dimension is 2. So, therefore, it is consist of two linearly independent vectors minus 1, 1, 0 and minus half 0, 1 that we have obtained by taking that has been obtained by taking uh, alpha equal to 1, beta equal to 0 and then alpha equal to 0, beta equal to 1. 
So, now this matrix P will be like this, we take the basis in S 1 and S 2 as columns of this matrix P. So, therefore, first column will be basis for S 1 that 2 to 1 and then we write basis of S 2. So, that is minus 1, 1, 0, minus half, 0, 1. So, now one can check that this one checks that that this P inverse A P is the matrix is the diagonal matrix 10 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1. This is how we find this matrix P to diagonalize the given matrix A. Next, we will see one example that not all matrices are diagonalizable, not all square matrices are diagonalizable. So, let us see one example of it that here we consider the matrix A be like this that minus 3 1 minus 1 minus 7 5 minus 1 minus 6 6 minus 2. So, here one checks that the eigenvalues be like this eigenvalues of A are lambda 1 is equal to minus 2, lambda 2 is equal to 4 and lambda 1 is a multiplicity, lambda 1 is a multiplicity 2. So, Eigen space of lambda 1 is the solution space of your Eigen space of lambda 1 is the solution space of the system A plus twice I x equal to 0. Here this uh, rank of one can check that this rank of a plus 2 i is equal to 2. So, one checks that rank of a plus twice i is equal to 2. So, geometric multiplicity geometric multiplicity of lambda 1 is 1. Similarly, we get similarly we get the geometric multiplicity multiplicity of lambda 2 is also 1. Therefore, so here gamma 1 plus gamma 2 is equal to 2 and that is not equal to 3. So, in this case A is not 
a diagonalizable matrix, not a diagonalizable matrix and that is all uh, this lecture will stop here and this diagonalization of matrices they are also useful and in the next lecture we shall discuss that using diagonalizable matrices we can also compute higher power of matrices that is all for this lecture thank you.